using dividend stocks can be a good way to build wealth over the long term. As you work on increasing your net worth, you might want to try out dividend investing. In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know to get started with dividend stock investing. But before we dive into today's video, here's a quick disclaimer. Please remember I am not a financial advisor, and so nothing we talk about in this video is financial advice, but rather my personal opinion. So before doing anything, do your own research and consult with a professional financial advisor. And as always, you can find useful links to help you on your journey in the comments section below. With that over, let's get back into the video. What are dividend stocks? Dividend stocks are a great way to make money as well as for wealth building. Being a part owner of the company and receiving dividend payments is just one way to grow your net worth over time. The other is through price appreciation, which happens when the stock increases in value and makes you more money than if you had invested it elsewhere. Essentially, any stock can be a dividend stock if it pays some of the company's profits as dividends to its shareholders. What is a dividend? To understand what dividend stocks are, it is first important to know that a dividend is a part of the company's profits paid to shareholders. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission defines it as a portion of the company's profit paid to its shareholders according to their share ownership in the company. A public company can choose to pay dividends on a regular schedule. These could be either retained or issued at any time though. The company could choose to distribute dividends as a cash payment without creating equity, or they could give stockholders a choice between receiving cash or shares of preferred stock. For example, let's say you own 100 shares in Company X and receive dividends at a rate of 10 cents per share. On that basis, over the course of one year you would receive $10 from this investment. Unlike bonds, companies are not bound to keep paying dividends. That means that if the company ever decides to get rid of them or reduce the return on investment that you're getting now, you won't be able to do anything about it. How do dividend stocks work? Dividend stocks are often used to provide steady income, but they can also be used to build long-term wealth. Both sides of the equation are important aspects to consider when investing because their combination is called the total return. A lot of people like dividend stocks because they provide continuous income, even though the dividends are never a guarantee. The important thing to do is take a look at the stock's price growth as well. As a dividend stock investor, you could reap the rewards of your favorite stocks. Dividends typically come out quarterly and are sent to your broker's account. But each company will determine the payment date and method of payment on an individual basis. How to start investing in dividend stocks If you are intrigued by the idea of investing in dividend stocks, here's how to get started. Research companies that offer dividends. When you're looking for a company to invest in, you'll come across many that don't even offer dividends at all. If not, get rid of them right away. Stocks can be a scary investment at times, but look for companies that already have a good standing in the market and then make sure they have a long record of paying dividends. This can imply that they are financially stable and reliable. Make sure you look for the following signs that the investment is a good one. Companies track record. It's important to select a company that has been successful for a long time. Debt. Some companies are able to use debt responsibly and it can be a good thing for them. However, when there is too much debt on the books, the company has to use all of its profits just to service the debt. This means you don't get any dividends, so in that situation you should inquire about how they're using that debt strategically. Stock price. One simple question you can ask yourself is whether or not the stock price is an accurate reflection of the company's value. Is it overvalued or are you getting it for a discount? A company's financial statements. Before you make an investment, look at the company's financial statements and see if they're financially sound with a strong growth forecast. High yield isn't everything. New to dividend investing. Some people might see high yield stocks as the best place to invest. But keep in mind that a high yield can be because of price drops due to a risk that the company will cut its dividends. Here are some steps you can take to avoid getting stuck in a dividend yield trap. Avoid buying stocks just because they have a high dividend yield. If a company's yield is significantly higher than others in the same industry, it could be an indication that something is wrong. Check the dividend payout ratio to see if it's sustainable. One way to gauge your company's health is by looking at their dividend history. You should look for how long they have been paying out for and growth in yield. There are lots of things to think about when you examine the balance sheet. Debt, cash and other assets, and liabilities are all important to review. Consider the makeup of the company and what risks they may face. Have competitors risen to take their market share? Is there a significant lack of demand for the product or service, or has some form of disruption occurred? It's better to buy a dividend stock with a low yield than to buy one with a higher yield that could be nothing but an illusion. Beyond that, dividend growth is usually more profitable since you can track companies with a history of raising their stock dividends over a long period. Open a brokerage account. You can invest in dividend stocks with a brokerage account. The right one will help you make the purchase and keep costs to a minimum. 
On top of that, find a platform that suits your needs and avoid high fees by only paying for the services you need. Reinvest through DRIP programs. Once you start investing in dividend stocks, you'll have access to a new stream of income. But that doesn't mean you need to stop there. You can reinvest the new income stream into the company and continue to build up your portfolio. You can create a plan that automatically reinvests your dividends on a regular schedule through DRIPs, which is short for Dividend Reinvestment Plan. Don't overlook dividend stock funds. If you're investing for dividends, research can take a lot of time. Luckily, there's an easier option available with the help of dividend stock funds. A dividend stock fund is a mutual fund with stocks that pay dividends. It's a way to invest without taking the time to research individual companies, which is ideal for people who don't have the time or desire to do their own research. Dividend stock funds are also the perfect solution for people looking for more conservative investments. With dividend stocks and funds, you can get some growth while keeping your risk low. Instead of spending time researching individual companies and their stocks, buy a mutual fund with dividends that fit both your risk tolerance and investment goals. Don't forget about taxes. As you start to build this new income stream, remember it's important to keep taxes in mind from the beginning. You don't want your tax bill blowing up after you've done all the work. Even if your stocks pay out qualified dividends, they can still affect your taxes depending on how much money you make and where in the world you live. Depending on other income sources you have in your current tax bracket, you could be subject to taxes of anywhere from 0 to 20%. So spend some time figuring out how much of your dividend payments are going to set aside to cover the tax at the end of the year. Examples of the best dividend stocks Not all stocks offer a dividend. Plenty of companies choose to reinvest cash in the company instead, which means investors receive no return on the investment and have to wait for the value to appreciate over time. Older and more established companies usually pay dividends to their shareholders. But when they are in tough economic times, they might skip a payment to make sure the business survives. We're already in a tough economy so it's understandable if they have to do that. Here are a few examples of popular dividend stocks. International Business Machines Corp., Northern Western Corp., Bank of Hawaii Corp., and American Electric Power Co. Inc. Don't forget that there are dividend funds specifically for people just starting to invest. For example, you can choose T. Rowe Price Dividend Growth Fund, Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, and Fidelity Dividend Growth Fund. These are just examples, but do your own research and learn about the kinds of stocks or funds that might work best for you. The bottom line. Dividend stocks can be a great way to build passive income. Though you can never know for sure what the share will yield, they tend to be a worthwhile investment strategy. Dividend stocks combine the best of two worlds. They act like stocks in that they can have a price increase, but more importantly, the investor gets dividends which can make up for a passive income. Today dividend stocks with a long track record of stable dividends, coupled with a stable business model going forward, have been seen as a good diversifier to bonds that offer no yield currently. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great tips on saving, earning and investing more to help you improve your finances and build real wealth. And if you like this video, please help others find it too by smashing the like button as YouTube will recommend it to more people just like you.